Hey, so real quick, um, I'm going to do a couple videos. This first one is I'm using the um, text to note feature, and it works real easy. I mean, check this out. You highlight this, and this happens to be a roof detail, and you hit the uh, text to note. I don't know. It's this magic wand thing here with the end symbol, but I've made a stream deck button, which... Um, let me just show you what that looks like. <clears throat> so right here, text to note, I made it look the same. So let's go back here. I'm going to push that button. Actually, I'll click this one down here. It comes up and it wants to go to this default architectural plan notes. I don't know how you change the default, but I created my own. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to have a bunch that say details, colon, and then roof framing wall framing floor framing ceiling uh, foundation all that kind of stuff and it'll all be details because um, if you just let it default and you use that for everything you're going to end up with multiple schedules that are on the same uh, layer whatever they call that and you'll end up with like one comma one or if you have three it's one comma one comma one so it's confusing <clears throat> anyway so detail roof hit okay Look at that. It took that text, made it number seven, and put it over here. So I'm going to do these last two, right? Or these last three right here. Uh, text to note. And then detail roof. Okay. Do this one. Text to note. See how fast that goes? I've just found only one problem that um, totally makes sense, but it sucks. Text to note roof. Okay. So there we go. We got all of them done. And uh, the problem I have <clears throat> is, first of all, I can't block this. There's no way to block it down here. So then there's no way to put this into my user library. And I totally get why, because you might have a bunch of different schedules in your user library, all reading different things, and I'm sure it would get conflicted really quickly. So that's not going to be a thing it won't work but i could do a cad detail from view and see how that works so there we go now i've got a cad detail from view but check that out what happened there i'm going to put all the text to the same i want this ar modified all it is is this is Arial, but it's modified to give uh, superscript in window and door dimensions. So I wonder what is going on here versus what is going on here. Look at that. So there's what it looks like in the plan view. Here's what it looks like. It's like the text doesn't wrap correctly. Something's going on here. Why am I getting a blue circle? I want to highlight. Oh, you know what? These are just lines. That's what's going on. Okay. That's not going to work. So let's try this instead. Let's do highlight all this. Command copy. Go to new. Uh, yeah, untitled is fine because I'm going to delete it. And then go Command V, paste. Oh, see? Okay, very good. Okay, so when you use this blue CAD detail from view, it's just going to take the, everything on this page as lines. But if you copy and paste it into... Um, now, who the hell is walking down? If you paste it in, uh, you end up having an actual table that works, a schedule that works type thing. And uh, here's what I was telling you about the one comma seven. That's because there's a schedule here and a completely different schedule here. So that's the issue that we have is two schedules. You can't have two that are exactly on the same reporting to the same thing. So watch what happens. As soon as I delete this, boom. Fixed everything. 
So there's that. Um, I guess I would have to this, see this would this is gonna make my uh, my model too big is if I put all my details in the CAD detail management. Like if I put them all in here, then my master template's gonna be huge. And uh, I don't want that. It's not, uh, I mean, it, it's doable, I suppose. I'd rather have them in the user library. And that's why I was gonna go through and convert all my, de like this, here, I'll show you. This original detail is right here. And I was trying to get to where I could line up all these numbers. So let's just do that. And I got to have this on intersected, not uh, constrained. And then we go to align left. Hit OK. And not really sure about if I should pull new lines or just leave the ones that I have. You know, it's tough, tough call. Okay, so yeah, some of these are not lining up where I would want them. So you grab the red, bring it over to the center, and then drag it over. So. And then the other thing I'm doing with this line right here is the hinge point or whatever that's called. I'm trying to make that look uniform. Whoops. <laughs> There's my dog. He's in the background gagging on something. Um, you, you get the point though, right? Where I'm headed with this. You drag it over, you bring it down till it lines up and you make sure that here, let's see. Drag it to there. Bring this over till it snaps. And then you just make sure that the notes are um, over. What do you call that? Um, to the front. Well, that's not correct either. Yeah, so this one we're just going to do new. Click on here. Grab this. Bring it over to here. And grab this and go like this. Hold down Control or Command. Double click this bad boy because it's way too big. Four inches should be one. We're on three quarter. What what are these? One and a half. Okay, so one and a half is the text size, and <clears throat> normally, <coughs> excuse me. Normally, I make it a little smaller than the text size, but see, that looks not too bad. That's kind of the look I was going for. Get rid of this. The numbering would be nice and clean and straight. Um, here would be your text, so that somebody could follow along. You can order these in any number, like um, let's say you wanted number eight first. Grab here, drag it up to here. So now number eight became number one. We're going to make the right edges of these align. So um, that tool, that alignment tool, is this one down here. And I just, I'm telling you, man, when you get it, the best $50 you can spend is to buy the uh, the mobile version of Stream Deck. It can go on an iPad or an iPhone. It's $49 lifetime forever till you're dead. <laughs> and uh, it uh, the Stream Deck's really cool. <clears throat> All these shortcuts that you see, Every time you click something, all these buttons down here and all these tools up here, you can you can go into tools, uh, toolbars, custom hotkeys, right here. There's like there's like over a thousand different things you can automate, 
And so instead of trying to remember, oh, yeah, I need to see the camera perspective, so I need to go uh, PFO, why not just type PFO into a button and let's just go over there. Let's say I needed uh, any one of these. I want to open up uh, the uh, CAD detail management window. I want to go to the hotkeys. Uh, there's just so many options. Here's uh, AutoCAD. There's SketchUp. I don't know. This is a blank one. Here's a bunch of different utility type tools. Calculators. Uh, Stream Deck. File Rename. Uh, PDF sque Squeezer. Whatever they call it. Here's your office tools. Internet, blah, 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 blah. Air is pretty cool. Let's just see airplanes. So yeah, there you go. Um, I'm done with this video. I'll let me do another one and talk about how um, the graphics issues I was having with my Mac are no longer. They're fixed. So yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm looking for the stop button. <laughs>